Hey guys and girls, this is Gunderquid, and this episode we are going to be crafting our hovercraft. So, what we did was we upgraded our basic constructor, our large constructor, over to an advanced constructor. What this does is it allows you to build stuff that you don't have resources for. Uh, for instance, we're going to be building the hover vessel this, this uh, episode. Obviously, I already have the eight gray hull blocks, but I'm missing the core and the hover engine. They're not red, but they're yellow now. So when I try to build it, it's going to automatically build the other items first. I don't know. I think it helps save a huge headache. So it's probably up there on the priorities of items you want to upgrade for your base. Now, our base is still basic. We haven't really upgraded anything other than the only thing we really did was put a satellite dish um, decoration. That's it. We made the color tool and we're playing a little bit with colors. I don't know. I have to um, tweak it. I haven't found a good base color. I also have uh, six tomato plants and three cava bean plants. But that's kind of cool. Other than that, there's nothing else that's been changed. So let's start tweaking with our hover engine. I'm not going to build any resources right now. What I am going to do... Let's see... Okay, they're already in my inventory. I was going to put some lights out so I can see what I'm doing since it's... I don't know. Always seems like it's nighttime in-game. It's really weird. One there. One there. Should be a decent amount of light. We'll worry about the rest later. Okay, so we're just gonna plop this right here. It's gonna fall. Plop. Now, what are we gonna do? We have three different options for. Or I think it's four different options right now for cockpit. So let me see here. Where are the cockpits? Okay, we have super fast, decent fast. Wide berth and basic. I, I really, since this is going to be a fast speeder, I'm just going to build the the basic, the fancy one, where, where it's going to go zoom zoom. Problem with this, you can't really zero line it. Let's see, let's get it over here. Okay, so when we do this, there's there's going to be because the block's three by th or three by three. We're going to have one empty section on there somewhere. So to make it even, I'm just going to destroy these three right now. I'm also going to have to relocate the core. Maybe. Because it's like right there on the edge. Hmm. It's not really a good spot for Or what I can do is put an RCS on the exact opposite side. I don't know. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to record, but I'm going to do it in a time lapse. So I, you don't hear me muttering, you just watch me uh, build this ship. So I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to get some ideas real quick, and then I'm going to resume building it. Alright, we're back. <laughs>
All right, guys, girls, we are back with the finalized product of our ship. Uh, we did a little bit of modifications to the color, a little bit of modifications to the armament. Pro main one you're going to notice is this is not centered. You cannot center it. It's annoying. It needs to be in a 3x3 three three square. But we only have, like, two up here is where I wish I, wish I can center it. It's, it's annoying. Anyways, so... We got the red lights. I like the red lights. They're just better. I don't. Can I? Can I please go to the surface of the water? Thank you. Um, now the hover jets. You're gonna notice that they're offset, kinda. They're not in the center either. Um, I decided to leave it that way. At least have one back here on a different near the back. The other front one over here. I don't know. It looks cool. I'll go with it. And I like it. Now, I also noticed something. There's like a little camera right here. Um, I'm guessing that's the hover detector. I, d I don't know. It looks cool. But um, other than that, the only thing I wish I could fix is the, obviously, I wish these were slanted. I have two refrigerators, two storage units. They're both on the um, most optimal sides, so they're not sticking out like a cornerstone, kind of like this thruster is, really. Directional thruster. Um, I wish we can get that curved as well, but it's a hovercraft. Can't really expect everything. Um, the lights as well, they're kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. But, let's let's get in here and see how this baby handles. This is what it looks like on the outside. The turret is fully automated, so that's kind of neat. It can defend itself when we start getting attacked. Alright, so let's go. Let's have some fun. Obviously, it's a full view cockpit. We can see everything we need to. And, um, it's, it's got really good agility, too. I was surprised when, after I got done making it, which is, I mean, obviously I wanted to do it for agility speed, especially since I'm crossing this huge lake all the time. But, uh, I, I really like it. It's got insane mobility. It's very lightweight. I don't know if the vessel takes into account what's in the storage units, the fridge and the uh, storage container. I really want to figure that out. But I went with the red headlight because it just looks way better at nighttime. I don't know. It's just, that, that's my personal persona, I guess. But um, I like it. It's super fast, super agile. agile. I know the speed limit on hovercraft is the same for any hovercraft, any cockpit. It's, it's just if it's a hovercraft, it's got a max speed of X. Um, spaceships, max speed of X or whatever. It's all capped out. I wish that wasn't there. I wish it depended on your mass and how much thrust you can put out at the same time. But I can see why there's a limit in the um, theoretical sense because the hover engines need to keep up. They can only apparently produce maximum speed of 2.4, 24.4 meters per second. Um, lift. And I'm about to die because I have no food in me. Anyways, um, that's going to complete this episode. Just made a quick hovercraft, and uh, I like it a lot. It's kind of neat. And now I need to start working on a hangar or a docking bay on the back side of this building. That would probably be the best option. Just kind of extend it backwards towards the lake. But I'm going to go get some food. And um, next episode is going to be about extending it, possibly looking into making a spaceship. I think that's going to be my next one. I'm going to work on that next. Alright, thank you for tuning in and you have a good day. Whoa! Oh my god! Bad drone!